everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about meaning characteristics and diagram of public goods we will also see difference between public and private goods free rider problems and market failure with public goods so let's start it what do you mean by public goods goods which are provided to all member of society without any motive or profit will be called public goods goods which are provided to all member of society without any motive of profit will be called public goods public goods are mainly provided by government for example public roads public park national defense street light and public health services now is the characteristics of public goods first non rivalry non rivalry means supply of public goods will not be affected by consumption of people non rivalry means supply of public goods will not be affected by consumption of people that means supply of public goods will not affect no matter how many people are using it for example street light supply of street light will not reduce no matter how many people are using it similar if one person is receiving benefit from national defense it doesn't reduce protection for other so we can say that supply of public goods will not be affected by consumption of people next characteristic non excludable non excludable means we can't exclude any individual or group for using public goods we can't exclude any individual or group for using public goods or we can say that we can't prevent any one for using public goods because all member of society have equal right on public goods whether they are paying taxes or not for example everyone has equal right to use public park or public road we can't exclude any individual for using it whether they are paying taxes or not now we will see diagram taxes can prices of public goods but how because public goods are funded through taxes as we know taxes are income of government through this income government provide public goods so we can say that public goods are funded through taxes so taxes can be prices of public goods on x axis we are quantities of public goods y axis we are prices or we can say that y axis we have taxes for the sake of simplicity we assume we have only two individuals a and b this demand curve shows individual a or we can say that this demand curve shows benefit which are expected by individual a through public goods this demand curve shows individual b or we can say that this demand curve shows benefit which are expected by individual b through public goods this demand curve shows demand of both individual a and b this is supply curve and e is equally been a point individual a is paying just om amount of taxes and individual b paying ol amount of taxes and ok is total amount of taxes paid by both individual a and b but one most important thing here you clearly see individual a is paying very less amount of taxes as compared to individual b individual a paying om amount of taxes but individual b paying ol amount of taxes ol is more than om that means person a is paying very less amount of taxes as compared to person b but still both are receiving same quantities of public goods even there are some person which are not paying any taxes at all but still they are receiving same amount of public goods but why because public goods are non excludable we cannot prevent any individual for using public goods so whether they are paying more taxes or less taxes even they are not paying any taxes at all now we will see free rider problem when a person receive benefits of goods and services without paying a price then he or she will be called a free rider when a person receive benefits of goods and services without paying a price then he or she will be called a free rider and free rider problem mainly arise in case of public goods because we can't exclude people for using public goods whether they are paying taxes or not but 
फ्री राइडर प्रॉब्लम कैन लीड टू लैक ऑफ फंडिंग फॉर पब्लिक प्रोजेक्ट सपोज गवर्नमेंट नीड फंड फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग पब्लिक गुड्स बट पीपल आर नॉट पेइंग टैक्सेस बिकॉज दे नो नो बडी कैन एक्सक्लूड देम फॉर यूजिंग पब्लिक गुड्स वेदर दे आर पेइंग टैक्सेस और नॉट सो वी कैन से दैट फ्री राइडर प्रॉब्लम कैन लीड टू टैक्स इवेजन बिकॉज पीपल आर डेलिबरेटली शोइंग देयर इनकम लेस इन ऑर्डर टू एस्केप फ्रॉम टैक्सेस नाउ वी विल सी व्हाई मार्केट फेल इन केस ऑफ पब्लिक गुड्स according to market mechanism if you are receiving benefit from goods then you have to pay for this if you are receiving more benefit then you have to pay more if you are receiving less benefit then obviously you have to pay less but this is not applicable in case of public goods then market fail second thing private sector can't provide public goods because of free rider problems they can't exclude people for using it eventually they will not receive profit from this and they mainly operate for for a profit motive so in this case market fail now we will see difference between private goods and public uh, goods private goods are provided by private sector for the motive of earning a profit for example ac mobile car public goods are provided by government for welfare of society for example national defense public park public roads private goods are rival that means supply of private goods are affected by consumption of people for example there are only 10 goods in stock if person a consume all these 10 goods then obviously it will not available for other so we can say the supply of private goods are affected by consumption of people that's why private goods are rival but public goods are non rival supply of public goods will not affected by consumption of people for example supply of a street light will not reduce no matter how many people are using it private goods are excludable because if people are not paying then you can exclude them but public goods are non excludable you cannot exclude people for using it whether they are paying taxes or not for private goods in case of better quality you have to pay higher prices for poor quality you have to pay less prices means here quality differences exist but in case of public goods quality will remain same for example same law enforcement for all uh, private goods can be trade in a free market because it provide on the basis of demand and supply but public goods can't trade in free market because these are not provide on the basis of demand and supply so this is all about public goods i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care